Aloha class. So I wanted to do um, a video for exercise 9-7. So, and it says only requirement one. So direct materials price and quantity variance for the month. We learned that in class. So this is the information that I'll be looking at for the problem. So I have this in an Excel sheet and I'll show that to you, right? So um, let me just format that just a little bit so you can see it better. Um, so this is the direct labor, labor standards, right? So this is how many pounds per unit they're going to need. And they're making these 4,000 units of Zoom. So whatever the Zoom product is, that's what they're making. I'll put that at the top, 4,000 units of Zoom, right? Um, or maybe I should separate that out so we can times that 4,000 units of Zoom. Um, and then we have our... Um, Formula A A A S S S Q Q not a Z Q P Q P Q P. Mm. And this will give us our price and our quantity variance. I don't know why I keep doing Z. Anyway. Um, so, they purchase all the materials of Zoom, right, 20,000 20, pounds of material were purchased at a cost of $2.35 per pound. So remember, price is on a per unit basis, while the quantity is in total. So $2.35, right, and then they did the quantity of 20,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds times it by the price. Oh, 20,000 pounds, sorry, 20,000 pounds and then we'll times these together to get a total, right? And remember our formula AQ times by AP, we'll compare that to AQ times by SP. And because the AP and the SP are different, what you're timesing, that's gonna be our price variance. So right here I have 47,000. And then let's see, standard price. They said my standard price was 250 per pound, 250 per pound. And I did have that actual quantity of 20,000 pounds that I bought. Right, so I should have spent $2.50, but I spent less than that, so that would be a favorable variance. Maybe I got a deal, right, so I could times these two together, oh, and I know this is going to be favorable, so the difference between these two would be my variance, and this would be favorable, or F, or favorable. Okay, over here, standard quantity, standard price. Standard price would be the same, $2.50. Standard quantity, it says... $4, four dollars for no sorry 4.6 pounds well I'm not going to compare 20,000 to 4.6 pounds that doesn't really make sense right so I'm going to do the 4.6 pounds times it by the number of units I'm making of zoom right that seems a little a lot closer the 20,000 to the 18 4,000 remember quantities on a total basis right and we do have to um, monetize this right so I should have used 18,400 pounds to make these zooms, but I used 20,000 pounds, so I'm going to have an unfavorable quantity variance. And right, the difference between those pounds would be, what, 1,600 pounds um, that I used over budget, but every single pound cost me 250. So 1,600 pounds times it by 250 um, would give me my variance, or I could just times these two here and compare 4,000 unfavorable. 4,000 unfavorable. And remember, since we were comparing the quantity, this is a quantity variance. And over here, this would be a price variance. And, and I could do a total variance. It looks like it would be a 1,000 unfavorable total variance. But I think the question only asked for direct materials, price variance, and quantity variance. And it said only requirement one. So this is for 9-7 requirement one.